Tonight, top EU stories from the UNIT website include 40 years since the British people had a vote on Europe Are Europhile spokesmen using FUD to drive the case for a federal Europe? EU threatens to thwack Britain with fines of £250,000 a day And they're back on another spend frenzy with your money Plus cause for concern as clandestine report makes recommendation for further centralized control i'm rick timmis and this is the unit nightly news one up first from our homepage, there has been so much rhetoric blair brown cameron all talking of a referendum, of giving the people a choice. It has been 40 years since the last time the British people were asked to consider their relationship with the EU. Back then, the question was, should we join the European Economic Community trading bloc? Since then, our political leaders have continued to sign over more and more powers of control to the European Union through a series of subsequent treaties, this article digs into the background and looks at the latest empty promise from David Cameron. Want to know the truth about Europe? Then remember to watch our Eurocom programmes for in-depth analysis. Fear, uncertainty and doubt. FUD. This is a topic I am very familiar with, having battled for the free software community against Microsoft, who wield this manipulative marketing technique with great dexterity. In this article, Dr. Eric Edmund looks at the parallels between the European Union and global technology giants and how they use the FUD technique to manipulate opinion even in the light of contradicting evidence. This is, as always, an excellent and well-informed article from Eric. Keep watching the nightly news this week as we have some exciting news from Eric. Our continental intellectual incontinence have thrown their toys out of the pram. Apparently, in light of Mr Cameron's call for a referendum, the EU is threatening to fine Britain £250,000 a day for failing to implement new rules. If you're looking for some news to get you hot under the collar at the start of your week, then this ought to do it. This article discusses the details, but I would like to add that all this comes about as a result of previous UK government's energy privatisation strategy. Beware those words, privatisation. When the government says this, what it means is they are going to take an asset that you the taxpayer owns and sell it. In return, you lose control of development, pricing and, if the money raised is invested into short-term projects, which has been the case every time, then you lose overall net worth too. It's not privatisation, it's a bankster's trick called leveraging the balance sheet. They're back! And once again, it's only Monday. Crank up the Heidelbergs, Mr Draghi. We need more fiat currency for the ECB charge card. That's right. More than 200 homes are to be built under an EU funding programme costing $308 million. Now that works out at $1,368,888.88. What in heaven's name are they building? The manor born? This article has the full details and has to take the top award for reckless spending. OK, heads up folks, we have some upcoming legislation coming through the Commission that carries with it some very nefarious statements. In our section, In the Pipeline, we have an article, and as usual, it's written in a wholly Eurocratic legalese. The key statements for concern, however, are 50 proposals for improving our work, business and exchanges with one another. Making it more likely to lead to legislation by and for the social partners. Preemptive strategies have allowed businesses and their employees to ward off industrial disputes through the proactive management of operational restructuring. Ultimately, this piece of legislation leaves the door wide open for legislation and directives to be written and implemented that draw even more power to the centre. 
It's important that you make yourselves familiar with this article, as the subsequent legislation will have ramifications for the working and middle classes. As always, we'll stay on the legislation and highlight it when it arrives. Today in our video library, we have an excellent interview with David Knight from Infowars.com. David interviews the Polish refugee Bert Pucholsky, who says America is very rapidly becoming like the Soviet Union he once lived in over 60 years ago. There are a lot of socio-political concepts Bert discusses that we can also see emerging as the product of the European bureaucratic machine. Well, that's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is The E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.